Well hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, just a little bit of an update. I'm back on the sea line and um, I don't know what other people do um, who leave their boats. Uh, this boat stays on the water you know all the year. Um, sadly here there isn't facilities to remove boats in the winter or they don't want to do that. They used to um, but um, so you don't have a lot of option here. Um, obviously the nights are getting colder now. Um, it's the end of November, and we had a we had a slight frost uh, here last night. I don't know. Um, obviously, I, as I've explained before, I live very close to the boat. You know, um, if we have snow uh, or very severe weather, it's possible for me to even walk down to the boat within about 20 minutes. Um, I haven't made my mind up yet whether I'm going to run. Um, sea safe antifreeze through it and by what I mean if I do I will make a video and show you what I do but basically what that entails is run the engine get it fairly warm and then this where you'll see this pipe here I undo those jubilee clips off the, off the um, water pump there and um, actually uh, then extend uh, the bit of hose up and obviously then uh, run uh, antifreeze through the engine and um, obviously tipping it in I've got I've got a bucket with like a funnel thing and I'll, I'll if I do that I'll, I'll make a video and show you what I'm doing there because it's a bit it's a little bit complex to try and um, well it's not actually dead easy but it's better to see it happen um, than try and explain so that would be one alternative what I do uh, what I did last year in periods of cold weather and we had we had one or two frosts you know when it got down minus six seven um, here um, as you'll see there I've come this morning we have got shore power here and I've got two little uh, tubular, low, very low wattage tubular electrical tubular heaters there. One that side you can see, and then a little bit bigger one uh, down that side. And I run those on a time clock. They're not left on all the time. They come on at say six o'clock and go off at ten o'clock in the morning. Um, which I found in other years. I mean, obviously, if we have a, a really uh, very very severe winter whether it's freezing the whole day through as it can in January and February then that that it might be an option you know that you would leave them on all the time but then that that can I, I don't like running them um, it seems a lot of people do this um, a lot of, I was advised to do this um, and it seems a good option um, because you never I was going to say even if you put uh, if you run it with a sea safe antifreeze round you're never going to be you know 100% sure of protection and of course if we had a lot of snow and, and a gale and a wind all our electric round here is still pole fed so the electricity could go off anyway and then obviously you're you're very much reliant on whatever happens you know, if we get some severe frost then um, so that's just what I do as I say I'm going to um, leave the electric you know, as I say, they come on a little time clock, and I shall um, then leave those on. And um, actually, it does speak of by the middle of next week, it's going to come milder. So obviously, then I come down and, and switch those off. Um, there seems no point in heating an engine compartment when you've got nighttime temperatures or anything, of, you know, above plus four or five in the night. Um, you know, if it's not below zero, there's no worries there really. So yeah, the boat is fine, uh, just a little update as I say. And um, ideally, if, if you were going to take the boat out of water, you could then drain it down and empty, you know, the, the coolant out and um, still fill it, probably still fill it with some sort of sea safe antifreeze. Um, but obviously, that is a lot better option if you have that option but um, obviously taking boats in and out of the water it certainly adds to the cost of your boating you know as I've explained about craning or lifting boats out in boat yards it can get very expensive as can winter storage on a hard standing you know it's what you want out of your boat what you know what you want to do with it um, 
and it comes down to a personal choice. So, so that's what I do. As I might well this year, as we we are forecast um, quite a cold winter. Um, you know, particularly in January and February after Christmas, those two months. They're saying we could have you know many many nights of hard frosts. So I might well you know um, put some antifreeze and run run that round this year. So there we go. Anyway, that's what I've been up to this morning. And um, as I say. Um, the river here is, uh, we're still very, very high, we're still in flood, the river is still closed to navigation for those that might, you know, want to go boating, it's like you can't at the moment, although this weather, it's been so wet, windy, dull and grey and pretty miserable really, you, you wouldn't want it to, so um, anyway, yeah, there we go, thanks for watching, um, please do subscribe, um, just say just a little update, what I've been up to this morning, and um, if and when I do do the antifreeze round the engine, I'll um, make a little video and show you what I'm doing on that. Okay, bye for now anyway.